Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. Uh, today I'm going to do the unboxing of uh, Presonus uh, RS uh, E8 uh, uh, Near Field uh, Studio Monitors. Uh, now for this demonstration I'm just going to unbox uh, one speaker but I've ordered two. Uh, and and uh, uh, I'm just going to go with the specs uh, and uh, the input ports on the back of the uh, studio monitors. Uh, in part two, what uh, I would demonstrate uh, is uh, how to place the speakers properly on the desk and uh, what are the different settings available on uh, these speakers acoustics wise. Uh, okay, so let's start with the unboxing. Okay, so just gonna open the box. Uh, when I was uh, looking to order these speakers, I was also looking at Tenoy uh, uh, Reveals A2 II. Uh, the main reason I selected these over Tenoy uh, was the price. Uh, but hopefully they will stand out and also the reviews online about these studio monitors. Uh, they are uh, like about 4 or 5 star. Uh, so uh, let's see, hopefully uh, they're really good. Uh, at what they do. Have a look, they come in this blue box. And just gonna open this box now. Okay, so as you open the box, there is your user manual and stuff. By the way, you can use these as uh, isolation pads. Uh, you don't need to invest in uh, uh, like isolation pads. But I believe these speakers, they are uh, they are delivered with uh, some sort of uh, small isolation pads. I'm just gonna place this down to get the speaker out. I would. Okay. So here's the speaker. Okay, let's open this. I'm gonna open it neatly in case uh, it's faulty and I need to return it. Or I don't like the quality of the speakers. Uh, but as I said, the research I've done and the specs of this speaker, uh, they should be good in this price range. Uh, uh, I paid about uh, 150 pounds uh, per speaker per monitor of Amazon so two monitors they have costed me around 300 pounds so in this price range for a 8 inch uh, woofer and a 1.25 inch uh, tweeter I, I can't go wrong by the way Presonus is a US company uh, I believe that was founded uh, uh, back in 1990s, late 1990s, uh, but they make good products. Uh, uh, I've used their products commercially and uh, they're not that bad, uh, especially their uh, audio mixers. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, have a look. Nice, nice build. I mean, it's, uh, it's heavy as well, it's not light. Let's look at the uh, connectors and uh, the other options uh, again, uh, knobs and stuff. Alright, so as you're looking uh, uh, at the back of the uh, monitor, uh, there is the input gain and it has got the Unity uh, letter uh, represented in U. Uh, 
so that's basically the zero and then uh, you can either uh, boost the volume or cut the volume so this is the uh, input uh, gain of your uh, signal uh, second you see the EQ section uh, uh, which is uh, represented here as acoustic tuning uh, so basically this knob uh, is the mid-range frequency uh, knob that cuts minus 6 dB uh, or boost uh, uh, plus 6 dB uh, to 1 kilohertz uh, frequency and uh, second knob is uh, called high uh, which uh, cut or boosts uh, minus 6 dB or plus 6 dB uh, to 4.5 uh, kilohertz uh, uh, frequency uh, uh, then you've got uh, acoustic space uh, uh, knob uh, which is basically uh, if you sp uh, uh, place the speakers near you or away from you or in the corners then uh, it cuts like minus 4 dB, minus 2 dB or it doesn't do anything at 0 dB in a 800 hertz range. So basically this is a base boost uh, 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 for the speaker placement. Uh, then you've got your input section. Uh, right here you got a RCA unbalanced input and uh, then you got a TRS uh, a tip ring sleeve uh, quarter inch jack uh, uh, TRS input uh, which is balanced then you got your XLR input balance uh, then uh, this is the power switch and this is the IEC input uh, the specs of these speakers they are really good uh, I mean uh, their frequency uh, response is somewhere between uh, 35 hertz to 22 kilohertz and uh, crossover frequency range is 2.2 kilohertz uh, also uh, they are bi amplified so the tweeter uh, is uh, 65 watts and uh, uh, driven by one amplifier and the uh, uh, lower frequency driver or the woofer is uh, driven by another amplifier uh, which is 75 watts and uh, the uh, uh, SPL at uh, 1 meter is about 105 dB uh, okay and uh, as I said the lower frequency driver is uh, 8 inches made of uh, 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 Kevlar material and uh, the high frequency driver is 1.25 uh, inches uh, and uh, the material is uh, silk tone and uh, the input in impedance is uh, 10 kilo ohms uh, okay guys uh, I'm just gonna uh, connect the power now and uh, just gonna play something uh, of YouTube uh, just to check the sound of uh, one speaker in part 2 what I would do is uh, I'll uh, make a video about how to uh, place the monitors uh, properly on on your desk in home uh, recording studio or uh, other studios professional studios and uh, mm, I'll demonstrate different stuff in in part two uh, but for this video I'm just gonna play some uh, music from YouTube just to see the audio of this speaker okay so just hang on and I'll do the connections so just gonna connect the IEC cable by the way this was uh, delivered from Amazon Europe so they haven't provided the UK adapter it is the European adapter okay guys uh, for demonstration I've just connected uh, my phone as uh, I mentioned earlier that I haven't got a mixer yet uh, so I can't mix anything or record anything at the moment and play back and uh, do the representation of uh, uh, these monitors uh, but I'll play back some non copyrighted music of YouTube uh, just to give you guys a reference uh, what these monitors they sound like okay so let's go I'm just gonna play something that I found on YouTube and it says it's non copyright uh, so there you go I'm playing it just gonna crank the music
was deep. <laughs> Let's play that again. By the way, only just one monitor is working at the moment. Okay, uh, so uh, that was a little playback of uh, this uh, monitor, uh, just using this monitor just to give you guys a reference of what they can output. I mean the bass was pretty deep and uh, uh, the high frequencies they were coming up good. Uh, but as I said, uh, they are studio monitors so the true representation would be once uh, you are mixing them and uh, what you are getting out of your recordings. Uh, uh, but you can use these as uh, playback uh, from your mp3 players or iPods in your spare time. Uh, okay guys, hope you have liked this video. As I said earlier in second part, uh, I will uh, demonstrate how to set up, how to place these speakers properly and how to do the setup with your home recording studio. Uh, so if you have liked the video, please click on like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.